Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, I'd like to thank you uh, to all my subscribers. Uh, yesterday I was at 492 and we're now past 500, so thank you very much. Um, if you're new to the channel and you like crack games, you like um, Steam Deck, you like emulation, uh, consider subscribing. This is what we talk about. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've downloaded the game and I'm going to mount it's an iso so i'm going to mount the iso and then i'm going to run the setup and then it's going to take some time to install and then after that i'm going to transfer it to my steam deck through warpinator um, and i'm going to fast forward this part so i'll see you once all that's done Okay, so once we've transferred the file to our Steam Deck, I've, done, I've got it here on Downloads, Warpinator, and then uh, Ratchet and Clank with the part. I'm going to open my Steam library and then add non-Steam game. And then I'm going to select the EXE. Add it to the library. And then on the left-hand side, I'm going to find riftapart.exe. I'm going to go to Properties. I'm going to change the name to Ratchet and Clank with the part to make it look good and easier reference. And then I'm going to change the compatibility to Proton Experimental. Okay, let's try to run the game. Okay, so we get a failure to get the license. Um, there's a fix to this. So go to this website. It's called Goldberg Emulator. So we're going to download it. I'll leave a link in the description. So download this. And then you're going to unzip it to somewhere you can locate. I'm just going to unzip it in the downloads directory. And then inside there's a DLL. So copy this DLL. And paste it into the Ratchet and Clank game folder, and you're going to override it. Now let's try to run the game again. Okay, this is the graphic card. Voila, it works. So I'm going to uh, disable the launcher, the show launcher. So in game mode, it doesn't show the launcher. And yeah, it works. So let's see it in action in the game mode. I think it has a bit of tearing, so maybe we should turn on the V-Sync. V-Sync on. I think it might be a little bit better. Okay, so alternate F4, I'm just going to quit out of it. I don't want to wait for it. So let's just go to game mode and I'll see you in game mode. Okay, so once we're in game mode, guess what we're going to do next? Yes, we're going to change the artwork. So I'm going to use the official artwork. It's up to you. You could use whatever you want. So let's get this looking nice and pretty before we start the game. Okay, so downloaded all the artwork. Let's start the game. 
Looking good. Yeah, there's some pairing, so I think we need to set the V Sync on. Need to tweak a bit of the graphics. Okay, okay, the controller's not working. I think it's the same as Spider Man because it's by Insomniac. Uh, so I'm using the mouse here. Yep, the controller doesn't work. So let's try to use that fix we did with Spider Man. See if we can fix it. So we gotta go to. Uh, I'm gonna connect the Bluetooth controller to my Steam Deck first. So I'm gonna connect the Pro Controller. And then I'm gonna go to my controller settings. And then for the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, I'm going to go to the gear icon. And then I'm going to disable Steam input. Okay, and let's double check it. Make sure it's really, really disconnected or disabled. See, now it says enable Steam input. So that means it's disabled. Then I'm going to quit out of the game. I'm going to quit out of the game and then go to the controller settings. Double check. Yes, it's still saying enable Steam input. So that means it's disabled. So now let's load back into the game. Yeah, I'm using the standard gamepad with joystick trackpad. So let's just go back in the game. And then we have to disable the Pro Controller from, from the Steam Deck. So we have to disconnect it, not disable. We have to disconnect it. So now I'm going to go into controller settings. And then I'm going to physically disable my Nintendo Switch Pro Controller and it should disappear from the options so you won't be able to see it. That means it's disconnected. Yes, now it's disconnected. Now I'm going back into the game and see if the controllers work. This is what we did with Spider-Man. Because Spider-Man also doesn't work, the controllers, by default. So we had to do this little trick. So it's the same game basically from the same company that made spider-man so yeah now it works now the controller works all right so yeah let's just take a look at it in action see how it runs i might do a gameplay video later so but yeah it's good to know that we got the cracked version running on day one and the controllers work and everything that's good Okay, so let's see if the V sync. Oh, the V sync's on. All right. So yeah, let's just leave it at here at the stock settings. All right. Let's run the game. See if there's any hiccups. Can we skip the cutscene? Nope. I don't want to watch the cutscene. I just want to go and control the character. Oh, yeah, here it is. Skipping cinematic. All right. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, it's moving. It's okay. Yeah, so this is how we do it. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.